Hello everyone. Nice to see you again. I am Ake. In this video, we will learn about function. Function is used to separate large number of lines of code into parts. And you can also use the same statements again. Let's write simple function program. The data type to create function is def. And you need to write the function name and use the parenthesis def denotes this is the function and this is the name of the function let's write some statements print rock print code let's run it here the program is executed but we doesn't get any value because we doesn't call the function we just Describe the function, but we doesn't use it anywhere. To call it, we need to use the function name. Let's run it again. Here it prints the statements that within the function. Let's use some different statements. X equals 3 and Y equals 5. We need to print the value of X plus y. Let's run it again. Here it displays the value of h. Here the variables that we used are called local variables. Let's create global variables and here x is 7 and y equals 4. Let's print the value of x and y. Let's print it again. Here at previous the value of x is 7 it's printed and the value of y is printed but when it enters the function the value of x and y is changed and the values are added and it prints the value of h. But when we ask to print the value of x and y it prints the previous value that the value belongs to the global variables. These are the local variables that only change within the function but the global variables are not changed. Let's remove these things. Instead of giving the values like this, we can give in the parenthesis as an argument. Here the value of x is 3. And the value of y is 5. Let's run it. Here the value of 8 is displayed. But we can change the values. Like if I enter different values as an argument in ABC. The value will be changed. Here the first argument is x. So the first argument that we are assigning will be used by x. And next argument is 7. Let's print it again. Here the value of x, y has been changed. Here 3 is used by x and 7 is used by y. If we don't need to use the values here, you can remove it. It displays the same output that chosen from here. Not only this, you can use a function within a function. Like, let's remove this. Here I am using def function abc and argument as x and a new function called xyz and the parameter as y. Let's print the value of x and print the value of y. Here we need to return the value of x plus y and now we need to return the value of xyz xyz is the function let's create a new variable as value and i'm using the function here to assign a value to the argument x the function that i'm using is abc of the value of x is 4 and i need to print value here we need to give the value of y the value of y is 9 Let's run it. Here you can see it prints the value of x as 4 
and the value of y as 9 and returns the value x plus y as 13. And we can use the same function many times by assigning different values as arguments. Let's remove them all. Now I'm using the function as add and arguments as a comma b. Here I need to return the value of a plus b. Now I'm creating the variable as a1 and calling the function add and now the value of a b is 3 and 4. Now I need to print the value of a1. Next one a2 equals add and the other value is 7 comma 1 and print the value of a2. Let's run it. Here it prints different values. The first one is 3 plus 4 it prints 7 and the second one is 7 1 it prints the value of 8. While working in big projects you will use the functions to make your code more understandable and clear. So this is the main thing that you need to learn about functions and if you have any doubts comment down below I will clear it. So that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video bye.